Hi everyone, Miss Becky here with the Murraysville Community Library to tell you about another take and make kit that we have available at the library that is going to be Valentine's Day themed. So this is a Cupid's bow and arrow challenge that you can pick up in a brown bag at the library. It's going to be best for school age kids, so probably kindergarten through fifth grade or about ages five years old to 10 years old. And with the challenge, you are going to get all of your supplies and instructions, and then you will be asked to follow what's called the engineering design process to create two bows, Cupid's bows, and a Valentine's Day arrow. And then you are going to test them out and see how each of the bows work in transporting the arrow because one's gonna have a little bit of a thicker rubber band, you'll see, and then one is going to have a thinner rubber band. So you're gonna test the bows out, see how far they'll transport the arrow, see if they'll transport the arrows at all. You'll also be given a target, a heart target that you can try to fire at and see if you can hit the target. So you have your supplies and instructions on how to create the arrows um, or the arrow and the two bows. And then you will be asked to test it out, see what worked, what didn't work, and then also reflect and redesign. So maybe look at things that you learned and what could you do better if you were to recreate and go back to that engineering design process. And then maybe in any other questions you have too, you can write right there. So I'm gonna show you what is in each of these bags. We have about 50 available at the library, so it'll be first come, first serve. So in every bag you are going to get a smaller baggie that has everything you need to create the two bows and the arrow. So you will have two lollipop sticks, one for each bow. You're going to have two rubber bands. One is a little thicker, one is a little thinner, and they're already cut for you. A Q-tip that you're going to use for your arrow, and then some heart foam stickers that you're going to use to decorate your arrow. So those are really the supplies you're going to need to do the challenge. And then you also have some fun stuff in here. Oh, you also need to create the bows just for decoration. There's some glittery duct tape that'll be in your bag. And you also have a heart-shaped doily that you can tape up on your wall and use as a target if you want. And then the fun stuff that's in here are Valentine's Day pencil that you can use to write uh, your reflection notes and then Valentine's Day candy. Put those back in there. And then I'm just gonna quickly go through and show you how. So you wanna start with your lollipop sticks. So we'll start out with just creating one and you'll want to bend it just into a curved bow like that and with one of your rubber bands we'll tie a knot at the top here a little slow this really help you enhance those fine motor skills here and then tie it off at the bottom as well Take your time with this. Mine's gonna be a little sloppy, I think, since I'm just gonna to try to move through as quick as I can here. Okay, so you wanna tie off, you can cut off the ends there too. You have some excess. Okay, and so that's really all you need to do your 
bow. You also have some duct tape in your bag. And so with the duct tape, you can wrap it around your bow and just make it look a little decorative here. I found that the duct tape that is in your kit isn't very sticky, so you might just need some scotch tape to wrap around that a second time. Okay, and that'll be your bow. And you'll repeat that with the other lollipop stick you have and the other rubber band you have. And you'll notice the rubber bands are a little different. One's a little thick, one's a little thin. And then for your arrow, you just need your Q-tip and you will have two sets of adhesive hearts. And you can see my picture here. You're gonna wanna make it look like that. So if you have a set of bigger hearts, it doesn't really matter which um, and you put them on, but you're going to want the pointy end of the heart sticking out like a point of an arrow. And then we'll stick this one on top of that. You got to watch it stick it just right because they're kind of hard to unstick. Okay, so I have the first part of the arrow there. And then for the back of the arrow, you'll want to trim some notches in your heart. Let's see how well I can do this. So we'll do a notch to make it look more like the backing of an arrow. So you can see one notch there. And then on the other side, another notch. That just makes it look a little more like the back of an arrow, right? So then we'll go ahead and unstick those. Nope, you're gonna come, come on down there. All right. All right, so we have one and then your other one, go ahead and unpeel. And again, the pointy end would face the way that the arrow would be going. Just be careful to stick those, match them up. Okay, and there's what an arrow would look like. So you have your bow, you'll have two bows actually. And then you'll have your arrow. And you can stick up the doily that you have in your bag as your target, or you can just shoot them wherever. And you're gonna see which one is a more efficient arrow in, or bow, in transporting your arrow and delivering Cupid's message. And then you also have your pencil and your chocolate that you can enjoy and follow through and write a little bit about how it went. So I hope you enjoy this take and make kit and I hope to see you soon. Bye!